Hey guys, Abhishek here from TechSplicit. In this video, we're going to talk about routing the Lenovo P2. Let's get started. All right, guys, before we proceed, I want to make clear that routing is risky and there are high chances of breaking your phone, which means the phone will not switch on and will become useless. Secondly, there are not a lot of developers working on the Lenovo P2 right now, and hence there is very minimal support for the device. And some of the packages or softwares that we are going to use in the routing process might still be in the testing phase. I have actually ended up in bootlooping my device once in the routing process, but as I have troubleshooted similar problems previously, I managed to bring the device back to life by flashing the stock firmware manually, which is a very lengthy process. This is only a tutorial for routing procedure, and if you require, I would suggest you visit the XDA Lenovo P2 forum for any troubleshooting queries. And if it has ended up in a boot loop, you can download a factory firmware and flash it manually. I have attached all the links in the description section below. So having said that, let's get started. To do this, you need to go to Settings, Developer Options, and Enable OEM Unlocking. Lenovo approves the request in 14 days, and once the request is approved and the OEM unlocking is activated, we can proceed to the routing procedure. And I also want to add here that unlocking your bootloader will erase all the user data on the device, and the device will be completely reset to the factory defaults. So please download all the files that I've mentioned in the description section below to start the process. So you need to start off with installing the Lenovo drivers and also the minimal ADB drivers on your desktop. You also need to download the DWRP recovery and rename the downloaded file as recovery, which would be easier for us to use in the commands in the ADB window. You also need to download the SR3 Super SU version 2.79 from the link that I mentioned below. Once you have downloaded all these folders, restart the mobile into fastboot mode by pressing and holding the volume down and the power button. Once you're in the fastboot mode, you're ready to flash DWRP. To do this, run the fastboot commands in the ADB window in the order that I mentioned below. Once done, you're booted into recovery, which is the DWRP recovery. The first thing you need to do here in this page is backup. Please make sure that you take a backup of your device before making any changes to your phone. So you need to go to the backup section, select the storage that you want to backup and do the complete backup of your device. Now, once you've backed up your device to do the Lenovo P2, we need to change the file system first by going to the wipe section and selecting data on the top and then clicking on the repair change file system button. Here you need to select ext4. So on the top it is showing that the current file system is ext4 because I have already changed it previously and hence it is reflecting as ext4. For you it would show as f2fs and you need to click on the ext4 button at the bottom to change the file system. So once the file system is successfully changed, Reboot your system and wait until the phone starts. So this is an important step. You should not be making any changes as soon as you've changed the ext4 file system. After doing that, you will have to reboot the phone to the uh, main main screen. And then once it starts, transfer the downloaded SuperSU file to the storage. Once it is done, reboot to recovery by pressing the volume up, down and the power button at once. Once you are in the recovery mode, click on install and select the super SU file from the location that you've stored it in the storage. And once it is installed, reboot the phone. And in the rebooting process, the phone might actually reboot a couple of times, which is quite normal. There is no need to worry about that. So once it is rebooted, you can now verify the root access by installing root checker. So guys, I'm reiterating again, rooting is really risky and you can check my other video on why you should not root your phone to know more about rooting. So that's it for this episode, guys. It's a quick tutorial on how to root the Lenovo P2. Like the video if you found it helpful, share to help others and definitely subscribe. This is Abhishek signing off. Have a good one.